Hello and welcome to the final bit of Mongolian Horses football action for the second season of our existence. Um, there were a couple of games last week and we didn't actually play last week so there's no no table to show you but it doesn't really matter anyway because everything's already decided. We already know the Spy Pants are champions, we already know who's going down and we're guaranteed a third place finish unless we manage to win by 27 goals or more which isn't, isn't that likely to be honest. So anyway there's the fixtures for you, you can see. Coffee Spear got a walk over, Diabolical got a couple of games tonight, and we are playing the match fixers who are about third from bottom. One thing that is important tonight though is that Golden Boot Award. As you can see there, Anslee currently leading the way with 13 goals, me just behind him with 12, and James Heiser with 10. Now James Heiser is still out with that ankle injury, so no threat coming from him. Anslee though, he's he's definitely injured still, but he will be giving it a little bit of a go tonight, so not to say that he's not going to get on it, but me personally, I'll be looking for a couple of goals to get myself that trophy. Now let's have a look at the lineup that's going to try and do that for us tonight. As you can see, Alex Lockwood there on the bench. He was meant to be playing for us tonight, but it was actually his wife's granddad's birthday, so he ended up having to go out for a meal with that. But we've got Joe Templeman in goal. I'm going to start at the back just for a bit of fun. Now is going to be on the left, Steve on the right, and then Matt Creasy. Let's see if he can put some goals away up top. Like I said, Ansley on the bench there, he may give it a go if it's comfortable at any point in this game. Joe Templeman as well, we're going to try and get him out on pitch at some point, if we can, and see if he can bag one. But anyway, here we are kicking off, see us, us kicking from right to left now. Straight away, that's a short back pass by Steve, and they've got straight in off the board with the follow-up. Unfortunately for us, that guy does not have a left foot. So a bit sloppy start there, we see rolled it straight away and they have kicked it straight over the fence. So like I said there was nothing riding on this game and both teams have started very lethargically. A bit more reminiscent of a Sunday league game in the minute rather than a five-a-side game but hopefully things will pick up. So I managed to get the tackling, goes to Matt Creasy, plays it back to Navs. He turns down the option of a shot, plays it out wide to Steve, plays it into me. <laughs> I've taken a touch and gone for the shot. But as you can see from this replay I take the touch, go for the shot and I have kicked nothing but air there. So that is slightly embarrassing for me. Hopefully I can get my legs working a bit further into the game and things will pick up for me personally. Anyway, spy pants on the side now and I've just managed to get a foot in there but looking a bit dangerous on the break. We need to wake up at the back. I'm trying to show Matt Creasy there as easy as I give it away again. Not starting particularly well on a personal level but Nav's coming forward and he's had a shot and that's very bobbly and things are just a bit, the quality is, is quite poor at the minute. As Navs looks to come forward down the line, but he he gets muscled off the ball. They come forward, take it out of shot, get the shot away. And that has gone in the top right-hand corner. You've got to ask questions about Joe a bit there, really. He'll be disappointed. And like I say, everyone just seems like they're asleep at the minute. As I try and take the touch around the defender, but end up on the deck. They looks to come forward, then nice little ball in, but touch isn't great as Navs managed to come away with it. Turns outside, maybe the wrong option, gives it to Steve. He's going to have the shot, and that is high and wide, and doing what all decent five-a-side players do having a bad shot and immediately substituting himself off so now we are going to see the appearance of Ant Sleet who like I say very very injured at the minute waiting for the results of an MRI on his knee so hopefully he takes it nice and easy as the opposition now coming down the left hand side play the ball down the outside get the shot away that's well wide it's going to come back off the board though and then get the shot in and again Joe beating his near post doesn't look like he particularly fancy diving today and that's 2-0 and it's got to the stage now where we stop trying to have a bit of fun. We want to play a bit of football. We, we don't want to lose this game. We've, we've remembered that losing is actually quite annoying. As Navs there tries to thread a pass, and you can't help but think that maybe a fit Ansley would have managed to reach that. But not to be on this day. As Creasy turns his man, get the shot away, and that has gone wide of the post. But he manages to win it back, gets it to Ant, does the little Ansley trick outside, and gets a shot away. His left foot straight at the keeper, but nice to see him up to his old tricks. As the ball now, Matt Creasy goes back to Joe Templeman. Rolls it out to and in the middle, not the best touch, but manages to get it under and plays it out to Creasy. Oh, that's a that's a much better touch that time. One, two for Matt Creasy. Please learn to finish on your right foot. That would have been a lovely goal. And sleep with the setup play there, and Creasy with a poor finish. As Creasy gets the ball back now, finds Navs, who plays it out to Ant. Little play inside to me, and whips! Sorry, I couldn't help myself there. But that was a nice little placement into the bottom right hand corner there. Managed to curl it around the keeper and as you can see from that table that's now me and Ansley both level on 13 goals each. So I just need one more as Navs has the ball at the back there standing up his man and looking for an option. There wasn't much movement but I've dawdled over to the left hand corner for him. Play it back to Creasy, gets the shot away. Out wide to Ant, plays a nice little one to Navs and he's gone for the shot. 
and unfortunately that's not gone well for him. We're going to have to have another look at that. I'm not sure he was looking at the ball at any point, but if I can't get away with it, then neither can you, Nev. Sorry about that, mate. Anyway, opposition with the ball at the back now. That's a lovely little through ball. Takes it round, but the ball's just gone in the box, so he can't attack it. Gets the shot away, and that's just gone wide of the near post. But a lovely little ball there by the opposition player. It's Matt Creasy punts it at the side of the pitch. Turned out, though, that we've managed to get the balls. Me and Nav do a little dance with each other. They plays it out to Ant. Little one over, maybe a bit strong for Creasy. Gets the shot away. Deflects off the balls. Navs manages to steal in there. Left foot. Lovely finish there into the top right hand corner. Redeems himself from his earlier mishap and immediately takes himself off thinking, yep, yeah, that's job done. But obviously it's not. It's still too all and there's over half the game to go. As the match fixers look to get something back, little space at the back of the pitch for them. Looking to play a little ball inside on one, two, but Steve manages to get through and plays with Creasy. There are options forward, but obviously he turns them down and passes it back to Joe because that is the only thing he knows how to do. And that will take us to half time. So a very poor start, but playing a lot better football there. And you may notice that now in the second half, we are actually kicking off again. We didn't realise this at the time, but the referee told us that it was our kick. As you can see now that we've now created an opportunity from it as we ask for the penalty and the referee does in fact give it. So if we do feel a little bit bad for this, but the replay can show that as far as the ref was aware, it was our kick. You can see he's definitely in the box there. He's trying his best to get back out of it, but he's just off balance and he's given us a penalty. So within seconds of the second half starting, we have been given a penalty. And now we were talking about Joe taking it. He was a bit keen, but then we were told by the referee that obviously if he missed it being out of the box, it would automatically be a penalty for the opposition. At 2 all, we thought, don't take any chances. And plus, obviously, I had that golden boot to think about. So one step, Slotsville, Tennessee. That is now 3-2 to MHFC. So, obviously looking to hold the lead now as we take it for the first time in the game. But the opposition coming forward. Get the shot off the boards. Doesn't fall to the opposition players. It comes to me. Look to get the shot away. And that is quite honestly dreadful. As I've now taken myself after that. We have Ansley doing his little trick as he likes to do. He manages to get round two. Gets the shot away. The keeper can't quite take it in. But manages to collect it on the second time of asking. And Ansley now with... His second real opportunity of the game as he's now playing up top of the hold up man plays it back to Steve and that is that has almost gone backwards that was awful Steve Navs though showing some silks with a lovely little ball down the line he gets it back size up his man cuts inside goes for the shot back across the keeper he's been in great form in the last couple of games carrying it on into this game that's now two for him and four two and I said to Joe if we got two goals up I would go and go for him give him a chance to play outfield as you can see he's not bothered to change his outfit whatsoever but me being a true professional, decided that I obviously need a different kit. So I'm putting that on at the minute. I've not even got my gloves on yet, but the referee's an impatient fellow. He wanted to get things underway, so just thought he'd let things play on while I was still getting dressed. As they come forward now, let's get the shot away. And I've thrown myself on the floor just to act like I know what I'm doing. If they come forward, get the shot away again. I've managed to get a hand to that. And Creasy safely puts it back to me in goal. Looking for the option now. See Nav's rolled it out to him. See Ron Chop is back. You can tell he's feeling confident, but he just manages to get tackled as they come forward. Deflected shot comes back out. Another shot, and then the cat gets down to that, and that is the danger over for the time being. Joe plays a nice little ball inside to Ant. Little ball up the line to Nav's. Coming back inside, looking for an option, holding it up, waiting for a bit of movement. Plays a lovely back heel to Joe, who has absolutely no idea what is going on. That was a lovely ball, but let's just be grateful he's not started picking it up and throwing it around. As Ansley plays a lovely little back heel to Navs, bit of time, gets the shot away, but the keeper gets down well to save that. But the rebound comes straight back to Ant, who plays in Joe. He looks to slot it. That would have been something to tell the grandkids, but unfortunately it's straight at the keeper, who manages to get a strong leg to it. But that may be the, the best opportunity Joe gets in this game, as I roll it out to Navs. Not a great touch, but he manages to hook his leg around it. Something's happening in the corner, I'm not quite sure, but it's fallen to Steve. Navs has just poked it back to Steve. Lovely little finish in the top left-hand corner. And that is now 5-2 Steve Lock on the score sheet. As I roll that out, that's a bit of a weak roll. Joe's managed to get a very unorthodox but effective tackle in there. And Wiener can now look to come the other way. Ball outside with Steve. And Sleep there, up to his old tricks again. Lovely little move. And again, the ball just sticking to his feet. We've really missed this. It's great to see him back out there, even though every single time that he got the ball, it was a bit scary as Navs 
However, the attention seeker throws himself to the floor and wants the free kick, but nothing doing. As we have the ball in the corner now, something's happening. I'd love to be able to tell you what, but Ant has emerged with it. Plays it out to Joe. A little bit behind him, not the best first touch, but that's a lovely little cut inside. Will he get the shot away? No, he's just going to take it round everyone. Plays it out to the Navs first time finish, but straight at the keeper, who manages to save it well. As I look for the roll right now, played it into Matt Creasy. Lovely little ball to Ansley on the left foot. I say, we, we thought that this weakness of the right foot might help him improve his shooting on the left, but it's not looking that way at the minute. If they play it out wide, thought he must have surely get the shot away. Well, they, this time, no, played it again. Taking a few touches there, but do manage to get the shot away. Hits the post. Obviously, I had my angles covered, and Nav's managed to come the other way with it. Plays a lovely little ball to Ant. Will he score now? No, he's just dragged it wide again. Little toe poke wide of the post, but it's looking like Ant sleep is ever increasingly getting closer to scoring this goal. There's a little ball on the outside now with Matt Creasy. We'll just ignore that little bit of nonch goalkeeping I did there. As I roll it back out now to Ansley. Little 1 2 with Creasy. That's a lovely touch from Creasy. Best touch in the league. Ansley slots it. Why don't you ever set me up like that, Creasy? Ansley, I'm so happy for you. That puts him back on top on games played with 14 goals. And now it's looking like the golden boot will be his as we reach the full time whistle 6 2. We played very well after what was a very poor opening 5 10 minutes from us and managed to get six goals on the bounce to win there so happy with the result in the end as you can see like i said before the game it's not really made any difference on the table as we didn't manage to win by 27 goals unfortunately so that has put us in third place on goal difference but another good season for us especially if you consider the injuries you've had with ant sleep missing most of the season james hives as well been out for the last few important games and next season we'll be looking to see if we can finally get that title but i say it definitely won't be easy as you can see then as well from the club top goal scorers, everybody has managed to get on the goal scoring list. Apart from Joe Templeman obviously being a goalkeeper, that's not too surprising. Also Alex Armstrong, the diabetic discoverer, the Mongolian horse himself. He's still out in Asia somewhere, but whatever he's doing, he's not playing or scoring goals for us. So unsurprisingly, he has also drawn a blank for the season. But like I say, 14 goals at the top there, Ansley in only seven games, two goals per game. Very impressive from him and it's kind of upsetting to think what maybe could have happened if he'd been available for the whole season. But we've just got fingers crossed for his knee situation. We hope to have him back as soon as we possibly can. And if we look at the league's top goal scorers, me and Ansley, the only two making an appearance on there. As you can see, we're surrounded by space dockers, sparty pants and diabolical players. So... Diabolical especially, they'll be a team to look out for next season. Three of them in the top goal scorers list. They've only they've only been in the league for five or six games and they've they've won the majority of their games. So definitely a team to look out for. And with some new teams coming up next season, it's not going to be easy at all. Jack Matthews as well there, you can see with Space Doggers, they score so many goals. So keeping him quiet will definitely be difficult. But anyway, it's been it's been an interesting season full of ups and downs. Managed to finish it with a win. Next season, hopefully, we'll be able to go a few places better. But like I say, with Ansley, James Hyder are still injured and only a week to go until the new season starts. It will definitely be difficult. But if you've enjoyed looking at stuff from this season, please check out our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.